ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪುರುಷ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪುರಾಣ ಪುರುಷ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಕ್ತವತ್ಸಲ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಸಲ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಕ್ತ ವತ್ಸಲ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ
ಶ್ರವಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪತ ಆನ ಶೃಣ್ವನ್ ನೋ ದೇದ ಸಾಧನ ಪ್ರಣೋ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವಾಜೇಭಿರ್ವಾಜಿನೀವತಿ ಧೀನಾಮಿತ್ರಯವತು ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅಥ ಪುರುಷೋ ಹೈ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಕಾಮಯತ ಪ್ರಜಾಸೃಜೇತಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಾಣೋ ಜಾಯತೆ ಮನಸ್ಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಖಂಬಾಯುಜ್ಯೋತಿರಾಪ ಪೃಥಿವೀ ವಿಶ್ವ ಧಾರಿಣೀ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜಾಯತೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ರುದ್ರೋ ಜಾಯತೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ಜಾಯತೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತ ಪ್ರಜಾಯಂತೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ದ್ವಾದಶಾದಿತ್ಯಾರುದ್ರಾವಸವಸ್ವಾಣಿ ಚಂದಾಗುಂಸಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ದೇವಸಮುತ್ಪದ್ಯಂತೆ ನಾರಾಯಣೆ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಂತೆ ನಾರಾಯಣೆ ಪ್ರಲೀಯಂತೆ ಓ ಅಥ ನಿತ್ಯೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಶಿವಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಶಕ್ರಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಧ್ಯಾವಾ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯೌ ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಕಾಲಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ದಿಶಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಊರ್ಧ್ವಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅಧಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅಂತರ್ಬಿಶ್ಚ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಎಂ ಸರ್ವ ಯದ್ಭೂತ ಯಚ್ಚವ್ಯ ನಿಷ್ಕಲೋ ನಿರಂಜನೋ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪೋ ನಿರಾಖ್ಯಾತ ಶುದ್ಧೋ ದೇವ ಏಕೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನ ದ್ವಿತೀಯೋಸ್ತಿ ಕಚಿತ್ ಯಂ ವೇದ ಸ ವಿಷ್ಣುರೇವತಿ ಸ ವಿಷ್ಣುರೇವತಿ ಓ ಮಿತ್ಯಗ್ರೇ ವ್ಯಾಹರೇತ್ ನಮ ಇತಿ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ನಾರಾಯಣೇತ್ಯುಪರಿಷ್ಟಾತ್ ಓ ಮಿತ್ಯೇಕಾಕ್ಷರ ನಮ ಇತಿ ದ್ವೆ ಅಕ್ಷರೆ ನಾರಾಯಣೇತಿ ಪಂಚ ಆಕ್ಷರಾಣಿ ಏತದ್ವೈ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸ್ಯಾಷ್ಟಾಕ್ಷರ ಪದಂ 
यो हवै नारायण सैष्टाक्षर पदमध्ये अनपब्रुव सर्वयुरेति विंदते प्राजापत्यगुमराय स्पोषंगौपत्यम तथो मृतत्वमश्नुते तथो मृतत्वमश्नुत येद प्रत्यनंद ब्रह्मपुरषं प्रणवस्व अकार उकार ताने कदा समर तदे तदो मिते यमुक्वा मुच्यते योगी जन्म संसार बंधना ओं नमो नारायणाय मंत्रोपासक वैकुंठभुवन लोक गिष्य तदिद परम पुंडरीक विज्ञान घनम तस्मात्दिदात्र ब्रह्मण्यो देवकी पुत्रो ब्रह्मण्यो मधुसूदनो सर्वूतस्तमेक नारायण कारण रूपमकार पर ब्रह्मो एकदर्वशिरो योधीते प्रातरधीयानो रात्रि पापम नाशयति सायमधीयानो दिवस पापम नाशयति मद्यंदनमादिमुखोधीयान पंच पातकोपातक आमुच्यतेद पारायण पुण्यलभते नारायण सायुज्यमोति नारायण सायुज्यमोति एवं वेदुपनिषत् सह नववत सह नौ भुन सह वीरवाह तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मा विषा वह ओ शांति 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 ओ यो पुष्प वेद पुष्पवान् प्रजावा पशुमा चंद्रमा वपां पुष्प पुष्पवान् प्रजावा पशुमा यं वेद यो पायतन वेद आयतनवान्वते अग्निर्वा अपायतन आयतनवान्वते यो अग्निरायतन वेद आयतनवान्वते आयतन आयतनवान्वते यं वेद यो पायतन वेद आयतनवान्वते वायुर्वा अपायतन आयतनवान्वते यो वायतन वेद आयतनवान्वते आपो वै वायतन आयतनवान्वते यं वेद यो पायतन वेद आयतनवान्वते असौ वै तपन्न पायतन आयतनवान्वते यो मुश्यत पत आयतन वेद आयतनवान्वते आपो वमुष्यत पत आयतन आयतनवान्वते यं वेद यो पायतन वेद आयतनवान्वते चंद्रमा वपायतन आयतनवान्वते यमस आयतन वेद आयतनवान्वते 
ಆಪೋ ವೈ ಚಂದ್ರಮಸ ಆಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯಂ ವೇದ ಯೋ ಪಾಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಅಪಾಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯೋ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಆಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಆಪೋ ವೈ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಆಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯಂ ವೇದ ಯೋ ಪಾಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯೋವ ಅಪಾಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯರ್ಜನ್ಯಸ್ಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಆಪೋ ವೈ ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯಸ್ಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯಂ ವೇದ ಯೋ ಪಾಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಸಂವತ್ಸರೋ ವಾಪಾಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯತ್ಸರಸ್ಯತನ ವೇದ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಆಪೋ ವೈ ಸಂವತ್ಸರಸ್ಯತನ ಆಯತನ ವಾನ್ಭವತಿ ಯಂ ವೇದ ಯೋ ಓಪ್ಸು ನಾಂ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿ ವೇದ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇವತಿಷ್ಠತೆ ರಾಜಾಧಿರಾಜಾಯ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಸಾಹಿನೇ ನಮೋ ವಯಂ ವೈ ಶ್ರವಣಾಯ ಕುರ್ಮಹೆ ಸಮೇ ಕಾಂ ಕಾಮ ಕಾಮಾಯ ಮಹ್ಯಂ ಕಾಮೇಶ್ವರೋ ವೈ ಶ್ರವಣೋ ದಾತು ಕುಬೇರಾಯ ವೈ ಶ್ರವಣಾಯ ಮಹಾರಾಜಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಪುರುಷಸ್ಯ ವಿಮಸಹಸ್ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಮಹಾದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ರುದ್ರ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ತತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಮಹಾದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ರುದ್ರ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ತತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ವಕ್ರತುಂಡಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ನಂದಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ತತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಚಕ್ರತುಂಡಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ನಂದಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ತತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಮಹಾಸೇನಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಷಣ್ಮುಖ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ತತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಸುವರ್ಣ ಪಕ್ಷಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ಗರುಡ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ವೇದಾತ್ಮನಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ಓ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ವಜ್ರಣಖಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣದಕ್ಕುಷ್ಟ್ರಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ನಾರಸಿಗುಂಹ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಮಹದ್ಯುತಿ ಕರಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಲಾಲೀಲಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ಕಾತ್ಯಾಯನಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಕನ್ಯಕುಮಾರಿ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ದುರ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ಓ 
साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम शांति 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 हे ओम स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयन्तां न्यायेन मार्गेन महिमहिषाः गोब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्तु नित्यं समस्त लोकाः सुखिनो भवन्तु समस्त लोकाः सुखिनो भवन्तु समस्त लोकाः सुखिनो भवन्तु ओम शांति 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 हे
ಜಯ ಕೌಸಲ್ಯಾನಂದನ ಪರಮಾನಂದ
गिरिधर बाला
Fruit is my bread, bliss is my food. My life is my message, expansion is my life. My life is my message, expansion is my life. My life is my message, expansion is my life. No reason for love, no reason for love, no bad, no death. Ananda, Shanti, Satya, Ananda. Prema, Satya, Ananda, Shanti, Dharma, Ananda.
ಪ್ರತಿ ಬಲವಂತ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವೀರಾಂಜನೇಯ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ಹೇ ರಾಮ ದೂತ ಹೇ ರಾಮ ಭಕ್ತ ಹೇ ರಾಮ ದಾಸ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ
se toma hasta mañana. Toma su mano y se amaya. Cuyo amo Om Sairam, please join me in the recitation of the nine-point code of conduct. Number one, daily meditation and prayer. Number two, group devotional singing or prayer with family members once a week. Number three, participation in Sai spiritual education by children of the family. Number four, participation in community service work and other programs of the organization. Number five, regular attendance at the center's devotional meetings. Number six, regular study of Sri Satya Sai Baba literature. Number seven, the use of soft, loving speech with everyone. Number eight, not speaking ill of others, especially in their absence. Number nine, Narayana Seva. Practice placing a ceiling on desires. Consciously and continuously strive to eliminate the tendency to waste time, money, food and energy and utilize the savings for service to mankind. J. Siron. At the outset, I would like to offer my most humble and reverential pranams at the Divine Lotus Feet of our beloved Lord Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Om Sai Ram, dear brothers, sisters and loving children. Trust you and your family are keeping well and safe by Swami's grace. Hope you have enjoyed the satsang this evening. A quick run through of the announcements. The daily Veda chanting continues at 5 a.m., 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. every day. I am sure you are taking this opportunity to bask in the vibrations of the eternal echoes. The National Devotional Wing urges every devotee to collectively chant Gayatri Mantra 21 times, at least three times a day, at 6 a.m., 12 noon and 6 p.m. And if possible, chant 108 times at 6 p.m. As you all know, we have set up a prayer group for healing for those brothers and sisters that are in need of that at this hour. If you wish to send across the names of your loved ones, please contact any of the National Devotional Conveners or any of your Centre Officers for more information. We humbly encourage all devotees that have not yet registered on our Triple SGC South Africa database to please do so by accessing the QR code on the screen or alternatively the registration link that has been made available. The officers are also requested to please assist those devotees that do not have access to technology. The auspicious Ganesha Chaturthi Satsang takes place tomorrow, the 10th of September, from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Satsang will be filled with bhajans, videos and discourses on Lord Ganesha. The young adults are hosting a webinar session with Brother Shivendra Kumar of Australia and that takes place on Sunday, 19th of September, from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. The topic is being happy and peaceful. On the same day, we have an evening study circle from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. and that will be held by the Ladies Forum of Midlands and Chatsworth 2 region. And the topic is Faith, the Ultimate Goal. There is a special tribute program that has been scheduled for the 3rd of October. It's a special satsang that is being held in prayer for those souls who we have lost in the last few months. 
we encourage and humbly request the families to please come forward and register their loved ones who they have lost for this program. The details will be made available soon. Please contact any of your center president or your center officers to have the registration process completed. As we have mentioned in the previous satsang that the blood clinics have resumed. There is indeed a shortage of blood. Therefore, the devotees are requested to please contact their center presidents if they want to participate in the seva. All COVID protocols will be followed. A reminder for the maternity seva, which is a project that has been undertaken by the Western Cape region, where we are adopting nine pregnant young ladies from the Kailichia community. These young girls are orphans and come from homes where there is no income. So we would like to assist them from a socio-economic perspective, but not medical. Please contact Sister Prasanta if you wish to know more details. Finally, the Go Green infographic. Shri Satisai Baba says, the tree can teach you forbearance and tolerance. It offers shade to all, irrespective of age, sex, religion, nationality or status. It helps with fruit and shade even to the foe who lays his axe on its trunk. Observe trees around you and think about what you can do to enhance their life. Example, clean up around them or water them more regularly. This brings us to the end of the announcements. Now we have a wonderful video by Brother Arvind talking to us about yet another aspect of our spiritual journey. Trust you will enjoy that. Jai Sai Ram. Sai Ram. When it comes to relationships in our life, especially during the teenage years and the young adult phase, we all seem to behave like stickers. When we stick to someone, we are unable to pull ourselves off. And when we actually try to pull ourselves off, we are ripped apart and we find that a part of us stays with them. And if the binding and if the attachment was very, very deep, we are ripped apart so badly that we lose our binding surface. We are unable to seek company, we are unable to seek relationships ever again in our life. With a little maturity and wisdom, possibly we are able to transform ourselves from stickers into post-it notes. We can stick to different people over and over again with, without getting unduly attached. However, we need to remember that even a post-it note has only a certain lifespan like all of us can't keep sticking to everyone every time or soon the glue there also will be lost as far as my memory goes deep into my childhood i remember myself as being a person who would get very easily attached can you believe it i have almost all the hundreds of cards that i've ever received from anyone on my birthdays and other special occasions all my life <laughs> and being a cancerian by birth it didn't help the sensitive nature and the attachment nature only got enhanced when we go out of our way and do nice things for different people that is love till then but what happens is even as i do that i expect them also to do the same to me in similar situations that expectation is what makes love into attachment that expectation i had with all my friends my family everyone and so many times i was disappointed the burden or the load of expectation is so heavy that you can never feel light and as i said especially during the young years this is what happens just like an alcohol addict turns to more alcohol in order to wash away his troubles i went back to these same friends whom i considered as very close to me to solve my attachment problems all the advice that i ever received was come on arvind you can't be so attached come on arvind buck up life is not about all this focus on something else let me tell you a lovely story that i heard 
it is the story of a little boy who did not have the left hand this little boy was from china and his name was wei wong all his friends were going to learn kung fu he also wanted to learn kung fu but then all his friends mocked him they teased him you don't have one hand this was a taunt that he heard all his childhood and he was so frustrated till he met the master the master came and told him would you like to win the next year's kung fu championship master forget winning the championship if i can just learn kung fu i'll be grateful to you and the master said report tomorrow morning onwards and i will teach you kung fu now every day the master would give some basic routines to keep doing again and again throughout days weeks and months half a year had passed and wei wong felt that he knew none of the super fantastic kung fu moves wei wong was disheartened and he thought that his master had actually taken him for a ride that is when the master called him and said wei wong here is one attacking technique that i will teach you that will be enough for you to win this tournament at the end of one week he stood on that podium receiving the champions medal and that is when he realized the genius of his master the one attacking move that the master had taught him wei wong could use to defeat all his opponents because the only known defense against that move involved holding his left hand and since wei wong didn't have his left hand nobody could counter that move of wei wong this is what a master does you know a master takes your greatest weakness and converts it into your greatest strength and that is exactly what swami did to me when it came to attachment as well this incident happened when i was a student in the brindavan campus of the shri satya sai institute of higher learning i decided to write a letter to swami asking him to take care of me and give me some solace now that year i was supposed to receive the championship shield from bhagwan during the prize distribution which happens around the 14th or 15th of january shankranti but i was not looking forward to that as much as i was looking forward to giving this letter to swami i was telling swami swami please even if you don't give me that shield give me a shield that will protect me from all these attachments i'm getting ripped apart swami i go to bed crying swami please i don't want to shed any more such tears so i don't care if you don't give me the prize shield give me this shield against attachment that was what was the content of the letter as well on the prize distribution day when we went to swami to receive the shield from him i tried my best to offer this letter to him to my horror Swami just looked at me and very casually told me to just keep it didn't take the letter from me gave me the shield and guess what i returned back to my place sad because i felt i had received the wrong shield the next day we all returned to brindavan and i felt that i would have to face this problem for another 3 months before i could see swami because you know the brindavan campus is in bangalore more than 100 kilometers away from prashantinilayam that first night in bangalore I received a call to the warden's office. When I went to the warden's office, the warden told me, "Arvind, Swami wants security at Trai Brindavan. Swami has selected you as one of the boys who will sleep every night in his own residence in Trai Brindavan. You will have to go to Trai Brindavan every night at eight o'clock, and then you will return to the hostel every morning at five. Are you okay with that? Okay with that?" I was just thrilled. I nodded and I said yes sir. And even as I started walking back to my room I had tears in my eyes because I felt how beautifully Swami had understood me and given me protection. You know Swami has planned the whole day for the students in his hostels and colleges in such a manner that we don't have even a little bit of free time. However, every night for one and a half hours when we are supposed to study, there would be teachers going on rounds to ensure that we are studying. But still, you know, we would wink them and talk to each other, chit chat, and we would think that we are being cool. You know, being cool. I was also being a fool because this was the time when my attachments were developing. And you know how what Swami did in one move. he ensured that i am in his own residence so close to him and that time instead of thinking of my friends i would spend thinking of swami my attachment to swami guru 
I got so attached to Swami. I began to get dreams of Swami. I began to hear him from within. And it was such a beautiful experience which continues to this day. And that is the master stroke that my master did. All my life people told me that attachment is your weakness, Arvind. Attachment is your weakness. Get rid of attachment. Get rid of attachment. I used to go mad listening to that. And here comes Swami and he tells me, Arvind, attachment is your strength. Get attached to me. And the moment I got attached to Swami, I felt liberated. I found my attachment to the world decreasing and as it decreased, I found more fulfillment, more joy, more happiness in all my relationships. See, when we feel thirsty, we need water to quench our thirst. It doesn't matter whether the water comes from a bottle, it comes from a tumbler, it comes from a glass or it comes from a tap. What I need is water. So too in life, what I need is love. Attachment is holding on to the bottle, holding on to the tap, holding on to the tumbler and telling I need water only from this. Otherwise it is not water. This is what happens when we are so attached to somebody, we miss out on the love, affection, care and everything that so many others around us are showering on us. We become blind to it because we are attached. We want it only in that bottle. We will realize that God's love is the water that comes to me through the bottle, through the tap, through the tumbler, through everything. It is that same water, God's love. If you have to water a tree, will you go and water the leaves, the flowers, the fruits, the branches, the twigs, everything? Or will you just pour water at the roots? In an interview to Dr. John Hislop, Swami Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba says that all relationships in life are like the flowers, the fruits, the twigs, the branches, everything. You need not water them with your love. Just water the root. The root is God. If there we pour sufficient love, all other relationships will be nourished and they will all remain fine, healthy and wonderful. On that note, thank you. Jai Sai Ram.
ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಸತ್ಯದೇವಾಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನ ಸರ್ವಪ್ರಚೋದಯ 